Today on CV, just Ashley Kane's daughter, Azalea, rushed back into hospital after bleeding from nose. Nick Cannon expecting twins with partner, Abe De La Rosa. And lastly, Justin Timberlake pushed for Janet Jackson's Super Bowl mishap to outdo Britney Spears. Ashley Kane has urged parents to know their stuff after having to rush his baby Azalea to the hospital and demand a platelet transfusion. The ex on the beach star posted to his Instagram story that he and his partner Sophia Varaji had to rush their daughter to the hospital on oxygen after the 8-month-old started bleeding from her nose on Sunday night. It said, due to the tumors his daughter has in her head and organs, a blood cancer eats away at any cell that helps to clot the blood and she could potentially bleed out from the inside. He emotionally poured out that that was the way for his daughter to go especially as she's been so lively and happy and they knew that they needed a platelet transfusion for her. It revealed that they weren't asking for blood to be taken as the doctors couldn't do that or perform any treatment on her as she has been discharged and nothing else could be done to save the youngster. As a parent who has put in the work in knowing everything that could be done especially when it comes to his child, he had demanded for a platelet transfusion to help clot a blood. He also added that taking pride in your child's care and not leaving it to anyone else as you know certain things that can preserve your child's life or give them an extra day or two is very important. He also followed it up with an image of Azalea back home saying it's been an incredibly intense time but they are back home safe. Ashley told his followers the heartbreaking news on Thursday that his daughter Azalea would no longer be receiving any treatment as the doctors couldn't do anything more to help fight the rare form of leukemia. It's incredibly sad and jarring to watch a life you hope bring to the world start to suffer like that and knowing that there's nothing more you can do to help them. But hopefully the family is able to you know, be strengthened at this time and uh, yes, we're sending a lot of love, a lot of um, hope and prayers to them and we hope they're happy at the end of the day. On to the next, Nick Cannon is expecting twins with partner Abe De La Rosa. Now the twins will be Nick Cannon's fifth and sixth children after Britney Bell welcomed his fourth child to the world in December. Nick Cannon and his partner Abe have announced that they are set to welcome twins to the world in the next couple of weeks. Abe announced this to her Instagram followers in a range of photographs and videos calling the expected arrivals my miracle babies. And most importantly, she was thanking God for blessing the children and guiding them to her as their mother. She also put her heart out in a commitment speech about how she and their dad will always be there for them in unison and support. Although Nick is yet to commence on the arrival of his fifth and sixth child, in December last year, the presenter welcomed his fourth child, powerful queen to the world, after Britney Bell gave birth to their second child together. They also have a three-year-old son named Golden. The US Max singer host is the ex-husband of Myra Carey, and they also share a set of twins together, son Morocco and daughter Monroe. Nick and Mariah were married between 2008 and 2016 before going their separate ways. This comments led to him being ditched by Viacom CBS, who aired his TV show, Nick Cannon Presents, Wild and Out on MTV, meaning he was ultimately fired from his own show in the light of his comments about the Jewish community. Can anybody do the math? I mean, um, December to April, that's like four months difference, and apparently, according to biology, it takes nine months. So, Nick, what you been up to? At least I'm going to ask that question until he comments about it. <laughs> and lastly, remember that wardrobe malfunction that happened to Janet Jackson during the 2004 Super Bowl? Well, apparently Justin Timberlake pushed for that mishap in order to outdo Britney Spears. Jenna Jackson's former stylist claimed Justin Timberlake pushed for an infamous wardrobe malfunction at the Super Bowl in 2004. The Crimea River crooner reportedly wanted to outdo his former girlfriend Britney Spears, according to Wayne Scott Lucas, who prepped Janet's look for the performance at the time. Wayne told Page Six that Justin wanted a reveal after pop stars Britney and Madonna and Christina Aguilera shared a scandalous kiss at the MTV Video Music Awards in 2003. According to him, Justin wanted something bigger than that and he wanted a reveal. According to the stylist, the original concept was for Janet to come on stage wearing a pearl G-string inspired by Kim Cattrall in Sex and the City, but they decided to change it a few days before and we all saw what happened. 
Okay, Wayne said Justin famously labeled the incident a wardrobe malfunction after it happened. Wayne added that he wouldn't call it a wardrobe malfunction in a million years as it was the most functioning wardrobe in history and as a stylist, it did what it was intended to do. In recent weeks following that, Justin apologized to Janet and his ex-girlfriend Britney for the backlash he faced over his treatment of Britney following their split in 2002. His recent apology urged Wayne to open up about the movement at the Super Bowl and he claims Justin and Janet made their peace a long time ago and she had already forgiven him. Although Justin's representative hasn't made a comment about that. Talk about having a one-up on someone else but seriously wardrobe my function? And yes, guess what? We all fell for it. Um, let's hope we do not get to see more wardrobe malfunctions in quote from anybody else. Alright guys, that's about it today on CB. Just thank you for joining in as always. Let us know what you think in the comment section. You can do that on every of our social media platforms. On Instagram at cameraboy.tv, Facebook at cameraboyofficial, Twitter at cameraboytvng, and also like and subscribe to our videos on YouTube at cameraboytv, and you can hit me up on Instagram as well at whatsfield underscore ONI, same thing on Facebook and Twitter. So until next time guys, keep staying safe.